time flies when you're having fun, and it's always fun with Dr. Isabel from Doctor on a Mission. Kia ora. Good morning. Thanks for your time today. Kia ora, Andrew. Good morning, and thank you for your time. Now, really appreciate that uh, for you the big thing is what we can do to support our brain health, especially what sort of lifestyle changes we can make to improve our brain health and to fight against some of those uh, brain conditions that we often associate with ageing and some people feel are inevitable. You say no to inevitable. Let's do what we can to tackle these issues. Today, though, may come as a surprise. Apparently... Uh, our a healthy brain is helped by strong thighs. I, I, that's I, I, that's I, the punchline. <laughs> I, I, I know that it's all part, it's all connected, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And and yeah, it, it kind of makes sense that uh, that that good blood flow helps the brain. But how in particular are strong thighs connected with healthy brains, Doctor Isabel? Well, the latest research shows that the stronger our quadriceps, which is our thighs, yep. you know, that front part, okay. um, the stronger those are, the, the stronger our brain health is. Uh, so I always recommend, hey, if that's what the latest research says, let's follow it. Let's do it. Um, how, how that works, you'd have to jump into the physiology. Uh, just bottom line, quick understanding is it increases blood flow. Okay. Yeah. And so we want to improve our brain health by increasing our quadriceps. Now, I want to ask you a question, Andrew. What's your mindset about exercise? Yeah. um, Yeah. (laughs) We were just chatting off here and I says, look, as long as you don't get me to do burpees on air, uh, that's terrible. Uh, so, so you promise you're not going to get me dressed in lycra jumping up and down in the studio. Uh, No. Look, I... I want to do what I can to make sure that uh, this body that God has given me is around so that I can enjoy life to the full, uh, spend time with my grandchildren, all that type of stuff. If you're saying to me that actually uh, a little bit more exercise, especially strengthening my thighs, that's going to help in that direction, honestly, I'm prepared to give it a go. Is that a fair answer, Isabel? Yeah, it really is. And I love your answer because, hey, let's face it. Who likes to exercise? I don't. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Like yesterday, Michael and I were exercising. We exercise in our in our home. Um, and I looked at him and I go, babe, I don't really want to do this, but exactly. <laughs> yeah. And he looked at me and he goes, I don't want to do this either. <laughs> but we did it and we ticked the box. And it's just exactly what you said, Andrew. You got a vision, you know, in your mind of what you want this to accomplish. And yeah. if this is going to accomplish a happier, longer, healthier life so that you can be around with your kids and grandkids, then you're going to do it, right? Yeah, exactly. And I think that we see things in a broader picture because, you know, some people might say, oh, yeah, I'm doing some, uh, I'm, you know, I'm working on my health and fitness because I'm training for a half marathon or because of whatever. But what you're saying is actually not just for the sporty types in life, but for all of us, if we're wanting to live to a ripe old age and in particular have better blood flow to help better brain health, this is something that we need to crowbar into our lifestyle, even if Ooh. even if it doesn't bring us joy necessarily, it'll bring us longer, happier life, right? Right. I love the crowbar picture. Yeah, exactly. I, ju- I just want to encourage everybody. Look, my mom is 98 years young and a lot of people have seen her on my social media and stories and stuff on Instagram. And I've got mommy doing, she's up to 20 squats a oh, day. Oh my goodness. And do you know why she's doing that? Because I have planted the picture in her mind. I go, mom, here's the deal. Do you want to be crippled in bed? curled up in fetal position because you can't get out of bed because you're not strong enough? Or do you want to keep rocking and rolling into your last breath until you fall into God's arms? And she's like, "Uh, the latter. So it's just (laughs) all about the picture. So when her and I are talking, I go, mom. And she goes, I did. I did. (laughs) Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, and, and, and hey, if your mum can do it, then there's, there's hope for all of us. Talk to us about some of the benefits, because that's where you really convince your mum about saying, hey, these are the benefits of regular exercise, a particularly exercise which helps our thighs get strengthened. Talk to us about the uh, the health benefits, Isabel. Sure. So the benefits we know now is that it helps prevent 
and repair and even reverse cognitive decline okay. so that you're 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 sparking until our, your last thought because really we should be thinking clearly until our last thought yeah it's it's a lie don't believe the lie anymore people that it's normal to have you know senior moments that's yeah. not true we're supposed to be thinking clearly so why not mm. make those connections more than just then, brain health though there's there's other things as well Oh yeah, absolutely. It helps increase, uh, it reduces insulin resistance so that your body, the insulin uses, it works correctly and it gets the sugar into the cells. It reduces inflammation. And the simplest way I like to explain inflammation is your brain is not on fire. So whenever you okay. hear the word inflammation, think fire, fire, and we want to just calm down the fire. We don't want our brain on fire. That, that's no, an easy thing to remember. <laughs> That's right. And it improves our blood pressure, reduces our risk of heart disease and stroke. Like who wants to have a heart attack or a stroke, right? Okay. Yeah. So, Not on my shift. So these are all terrible things that we don't want. Suddenly a few squats a day is, is it, we're, we're putting this in, we're, we're trying to balance the scales. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we don't want to do it, but we definitely don't want those things that you were talking about beforehand. So you said your mom's doing, she's in her 90s. How many is she doing a day? She's doing 20, 20 a, a day. day. I think mm -hmm. I think you and I, we're not in our 90s. We could do perhaps slightly better than that. What does the doctor recommend? Oh, here comes the prescriptions. Everybody <laughs> ready? <laughs> so the prescription is Monday through Friday, yeah. 100 squats a what? day. And so this is what I do is I break it up into 20s. Oh, okay. So I do five different different types of squats, 20 each. Yep. You know, and and oh my gosh, you can go on YouTube and look at squats, but and just remember I don't like doing them, but I'm doing them because one I've got the goal. So yep. two, figure out what your goal is and if that's what it is, go chase it down with 100 squats a day, Monday through Friday. And hey, your mum's doing 20, so we can do 20. We just do five lots, five reps of that, as it were. And and but honestly, it, I'm standing up and sitting down off the couch five times a night. <laughs> so so, so I'm part, I mean, hey, I know that's not the same. Uh, but actually, if we can get some, some squats to strengthen our thighs, it has a whole bunch of health benefits, including, of course, the increased blood flow, helping our brain, helping us to be thinking sharply until our final breath. More information, of course, available at doctoronamission.com. That is D-O-C-T-O-R on a mission.com. Dr. Isabel, thank you for what you and Michael do. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Andrew. Bye-bye.